Hey guys, welcome back. After we've tackled creating value and form with pen and ink, then the different textures that you can create with it, here I will demonstrate the application of those topics on a subject. The full video is in 45 minutes, so I had to put some time lapse on this one, otherwise it's going to be too long. You'll be hearing my voice every once in a while so I can explain the techniques that I'm doing and so that you can follow if you wish to draw along with me. So let's get started. Here I'm using a 0.1 Unipin Tech Pen since it's easier to manipulate value with lines using a smaller point. You can use 0.03 or 0.05 if you like finer lines to work with. 0.2 is going to be harder to manipulate since the point is already thick, but it is reliable on filling in some blocks of shadows later on. When I'm satisfied with the form of the subject, I can now start adding on texture. I imagine that my light source is on the right side of the paper, so all the shadows would be dominantly on the left side of the subject. A tree, after all, has a lot of crevices, so this type of texture is perfect for recreating the bark of a tree. Since the tree trunk has a lot of nooks and crannies, I will play with the shadows on some parts of the trunk so I can apply different lines to create texture and value. Overlapping lines create shadows and spaces create highlights. I leave some parts alone because that is where the light hits the tree. This also tells us that those lines are elevated and the darker parts are more on the deeper parts of the trunk. Then I fill in some spaces with more lines or fill them completely to make shadows.
The thing about texture is, yes, it gives us shadows and highlights, but an application of a layer of texture is not enough. If you apply only one layer, then it has a tendency to look flat. So it's yours to decide if your subject needs more layers of texture. If you think one layer is not enough, you can add more to it and see how it could elevate your work. Thank you.
sometimes have holes or some deep cuts on their trunks so it's just a nice touch of shadows to create interest and adds a bit more to its natural look. some tall grass just to balance out the composition. Add a few small grass here and there and some finishing touches and we're done. You can apply these techniques when you try it out on your own. Always remember to keep on practicing. And thank you all for watching. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye!